All right, everyone. Welcome to Lucian and Brendan's Super Real News Show, where we cover real news for real students like you. My name is Lucian, and this is my co-host, Brendan. All right, everyone. A lot has happened over the summer, so we're going to start off our first episode with a recap of all the important events of the year that you miss, missed out on. We're going to start off by talking politics. All right, everyone. The 2016 presidential race has really heated up over the summer, with Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton pitted against Republican nominee and Kraft Mac and Cheese powder experiment gone wrong, Donald Trump. Many are surprised at the closeness of the race and have their reservations based on both candidates. But when you think about it, do you want the president that sends too many emails or the one that will bang his daughter? The intensity of the race has grown so much so that Americans and foreigners are struggling to come up with a relationship name for the two candidates, so far deciding to settle for Clint Rump. In other name news, Donald Trump has officially announced that immediately following the election, he will become the new mascot of Syracuse University. Due to the lack of proper candidates, many have sought to derail the race, choosing to instead show support for third-party elects. Gary Johnson has made astounding headway, as most Americans now know his name. That's all we have for presidential politics, but we've got plenty of international politics. Syria and Russia are going through a nasty breakup. All right, everyone, that's all we have for politics. Let's talk about other stuff. Malia Obama was the source of another summer scandal seen at multiple festivals twerking and smoking cigarettes, possibly weed. Research supports that if Malia keeps this up, she'll end up just like her deadbeat father. Kanye West and Taylor Swift are at it again. This time, Tay-Tay may not be the victim after she was recorded by Kim Kardashian, giving West permission to use a lyric about her in one of his songs. Although the exact lyrics were altered in the finished song, it does seem like the two are hiding a little more than they are letting on. Swift was quoted saying, I don't like him. Wait, did he say he likes me? Kevin Durant decided this summer that he should join the Golden State Warriors for next season. In other news, every other NBA team has officially quit the league. The Rio Olympics proved more dramatic than most Olympic outings. Usain Bolt was reported having a three-hour sex marathon with one local. And we were let down yet again by another swimmer we looked up to. Again raising the question, why? The Rio Olympics may have seemed bland during the actual events, with some of America's best Olympians choosing to keep their distance this year, but Americans were still able to take home about 120 medals. A Georgia man has cracked the code to sleeping with anyone he wants to through an ancient technique that can only be learned by spending a weekend at Leonardo DiCaprio's house. A sex-crazed Galapagos tortoise has brought its species back from the brink of extinction by sleeping with everything that moves. Diego has fathered at least 800 offspring during his lifetime, most of which he doesn't even know. Our on-site reporter, Ajit, got a chance to speak to Diego earlier. Here's what he said. All right, folks. G here bringing you coverage fresh from the source. I'm here with sexual deviant Diego. Hey, uh, G, you know, you can call me Big D because, you know, that's what the ladies call me. Tell us what led you to fathering over 40% of your population. Well, what led me to do it was actually uh, out of anger. Um, you know, I was sitting in, um, in my apartment and my girlfriend just dumps me, you know, kicks me out on the streets. Um, so, you know, I really think to myself, you know, I think I want to do something good with my life. You know, I want to save my declining species. So then I started going out and banging all these chicks, and it's been pretty good. And these women, how did they feel about you sleeping with them basically one after another? Well, you know, they had a lot of feelings that I didn't take into consideration, but you really can't when you're saving a species, you know? Uh, basically, how I did it was, you know, I tell them about my dead dog, you know, who died, like, last night. Oh, I don't really, I don't really know how they feel, because I don't really talk to them afterwards, but, um... I assume that they'd be happy, um, considering I do have a big penis. And how, in these hundreds of children you fathered, how do they feel that you've never seen them before? Uh, you know, I really don't know how they feel, but, you know, I saved the fucking species. And, you know, another thing, if there's any other species out there that need saving, you know, you let me know, because that's what I do, you know, I help, I help out species, you know? You heard it here, folks. Big D is coming to a species near you. Thank you, Ajit. Beautiful, beautiful story. Big D truly is a brave, brave man. Brave indeed. Disappointment sweeps the nation as college students discover they can no longer use their knowledge from caps of sugar water to act pretentious. 
The majority of unique Snapple facts that can be found under every drink lid are outrageously untrue. To make sure you're getting your fix on real life facts, we're going to be learning with Liz. Chloroform can take up to five minutes to knock a person unconscious. Fascinating for most, upsetting for others. Coming up soon, tacos? What are they? Who invented them? But first, we watch sports. All right, everyone. My name's Dave, and I'm here to tell you about the sports you care about. First, America's favorite pastime, cricket. Look at that. Perfect form, I think. What's he doing? Where's the ball? There it is. Wow. Wow. Phenomenal. Next sport, kickball. Last night's match was fantastic, regardless of Steve, the most popular kid in school and number one kicker, being suspended for eight games. Henry really proved himself to be a true team player when he made that super play. Really puts him in a good spot for this season's MVP award and a kiss from Susie. Next, basketball? Who the fuck watches this shit? Why do they watch this shit? It seems like an ancient form of torture that makes those who play it into douchebags with dad bods. What are you, just hold a stick all night and just swing at a ball for fun? Stupid! That's it for sports. Next week, we'll cover professional peeing. Now that's a sport. That concludes the first episode of Lucian and Brendan's Super Real News Show. But first, a word from our sponsors. This week's sponsor, Flatulets, a store for farts. That concludes our show. Have a super weekend.